Alright, so I recommend doing this part first, just because it has it's a Yaldris file you need to download and it takes a while so it's best to start first that way you can do all the other stuff while it's downloading so um the first thing you want to do is just want to choose the firmware you want to install now you can only um you can only install either what you already have installed or you can upgrade but you cannot downgrade so for example if I had 3.60 I couldn't go to 3.57 or 3.55 or 3.52 or anything lower but I could go from 3.60 to 3.60 or I could go from 3.60 to 3.61 or I could go from 3.60 to 3.63 right and if I did go from 3.60 to 3.61 I could then no longer go back to 3.60 so you can install what you already have or you can install something a higher firmware. Now the link to this is in the description. It basically has a lot of firmware down to 3.2.60. But um, I only have 3.63 on my Vita, so that's what I'm going to be downloading. I don't really have much choice here. So I'm just going to download 3.63 because that's what I have on my Vita. But you can use whatever firmware you want. It's pretty much the same process. So all you want to do is then just hit um, this download button here. And then you just want to choose any one of these mirrors. Um, I actually use the Yelp one, and I find that this download or Mac thing never works and gives this, so I often just right click this and click open link a new tab, except right when I was saying that it just went and worked, so whatever. Now if it is downloading that, um, this one will go right to the next step, so um, the next step is you want to find your model number on the original readers, this was right there. And on um, the um, CM, it's right there, um, right next to like the USB port thingy. It's literally right next to it. So you just want to find the model number, and you basically just want to look at the last two digits on it. Okay, so you've got the, you've got like it's gonna be like on um, the original. It's gonna be like PCH one thousand one o o o one or something. Um, basically, it's not, you only care about the last two for this, and basically, you just want to go to this page here, or you can simply put it in the video, it doesn't really matter. And um, it will tell you what each um, model number's region is. Now, video is region 3, however, um, I believe they still have regions probably just to track where people are importing from and stuff. But the whole system is actually region 3, it just, it just, it just has different firm regions for firmware. So, Basically, you need to know which one it is. I happen to know mine is already a um. I happen to know mine is a O2 is O2, and that means it's an Australian Vita. Right, then you need to go to Kio, and you need to right click, and basically just go save as. And you just want to in QCMA. You have to have QCMA installed. We'll just look up another video on how to install that, or you can just do it. You know, pretty much the same way you install anything really. Um, but you get um and you just want to head to settings and you'll see right here the updates um the updates content you basically just want to click ok and enter that into here and it's basically the same on windows this you will look slightly different but then you just want to call it psp2 dash update yes dot xml all right and then you just want to hit you just want to hit save after that Alright, and then you'll have now it's just my PSV update pop which is downloaded just in time. Alright, so it's gonna open that and show it in folder. Alright, and it's gonna go right to PS PSV update. If I can ever find it, PSV update. Alright, I wanna take that out and also go to that um, original folder that had the updates and stuff in it, which I does not want to copy in there anymore, so I'll just go through this way. Um this one put that here as well. Only you want to rename it to PS PSP2 update pop in full capitals. And you've got this PSP2 update yes.xml. Now you basically just want to edit this with any text editor, um, except I think Notepad sometimes has problems with it. But apart from that, everything else should work like Notepad, PS, PS, WordPad. Um, as long as you just save it as a normal text file, um, it should work. So on Unix, you have Kate or Nano would work as well. On Mac you have text edit, on Windows I believe Notepad would work, however it might not, and Notepad++ would definitely work. But um, yeah, you can use 
you can use, um, I'm just going to use Kate, it's basically the same thing on everything though, um, you know, just how to use any, real, any, really, any text editor, um, so here you'll see, um, it's basically already filled out for you except for, um, two parts, which is here and here, so basically here, you just want to click on it, and you just want to double click on it, and then enter in the region, region code you got here so as you can see here like if yours was like oh and what most of you guys probably have is 01 which is us for me it's just 02 which is au which is easy enough and then this back here is actually optional but i highly recommend you do this um you just enter in the firmware that you are installing so 3.63 and um i would explain all of this here but there's no real point to i might do that in another video at some point maybe but honestly, it'll be pretty short. A pretty short video. But just know this here makes makes it work pretty much. So um, yeah, you just you just want and after you do that, you just want to save it, and then after you've saved it, you just want to refresh the database in QCMA, and then I will go to the camera and show you what it actually looks like to do this. Take it and plug it into your PAV though. You want to make sure the video is off when you do this. And you just want to plug it into your computer. Alright. And then after it's plugged into your computer, you just want to, um, on your Vito while it's off, hold down R, Stout, PS, and Power at the same time. Uh, until you see the PS logo. And then you want to go over those buttons. Alright, and you'll see this screen. Then you just want to head down to Update System Software, Update via Connecting to PC. Alright, and if you do that on the PC, you'll actually see a message come up over here. Where it just says Connected to PS Reader and whatever. Um, Alright, and on here you will see an update to the system software is available, and you'll see whatever version you put in. Alright, and then you just want to click Next, and then it will just say um, Preparing. Alright, and you see this, this is just the ice on the screen, unfortunately you cannot use the touch screen to scroll down this really fast, so you're going to have to do it manually. You could, read, you could read it if you wanted, but I'm pretty sure no one wants, no one wants to do that. Um, and then you just want to head over and click accept, and then update, and then the firmware reinstallation will begin. S system is already running 3.63, and it's going to update to 3.63. You could also make 3.60 update to 3.60 or any other firmware really. I'm just gonna do this piece wait thing here for a bit and that's just checking some stuff. And it should just work after this. Yep, alright. And it's gonna see installing a system software. And if you do this, um yeah, if you're having problems with your Vita software, this should fix pretty much all of it. Um, reinstalling the firmware would, and even it, and it doesn't require you to even it doesn't even require you to update. So that, that's great too. So like, if you're on 3.60 and then you messed up in Vita LW, but you can still access safe mode. Um, I this is how you fix the problem. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is definitely. A good thing that Sony, that Sony allows us to do this. Alright, and it's gonna compete really quickly. Alright, now it's done, it's just gonna turn off and then it's gonna turn back on. Alright, it's going to be exactly how you left it, pretty much, only the firmware has been reinstalled. There's not much I can really do to show you that, though.
Yeah, my video was already working fine, so like, like I can say, oh, it's not bricked anymore or anything. But yeah, that is how you do it. You can reinstall your firmware, so it's really, really useful if the soft system software gets corrupted in some way. Um, whether it be you modified it or you just it just breaks for some reason. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.